Now here in the U.S., Ramadan means giving back to those in need. In fact, charity is one of the five pillars of Islam. We get that story from viewers Julie Tabo. If you fill up the, those pots... Ehsan Beg is Muslim, and he's observing Ramadan with prayer and fasting. On this day, he and his family are preparing bags of fresh fruit and vegetables for families in need. This is a huge, huge part of our um, religion, and um, uh, especially in the Ramadan, it says when you give something, um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God multiplies 70 times or more. Beg's daughter Rabia has taken that lesson to heart. I'm here because, I mean, it's Ramadan. I want to emphasize the giving, not just the praying. You know, I want to feel why I am fasting. I want to feel what these other people are, how they're living their lives without food, without water. The food drive is run by a nonprofit group called Faith. It's been organizing this event in Herndon, Virginia, every week during Ramadan for the past nine years. Coordinator Somaya Gariani says the group's mission is to provide social services to area residents of all faiths and backgrounds. On my way to the school today, I saw people walking. It's about 97 degrees outside today with their children, with umbrellas, just to come and stand for about two to three hours in a line um, to receive food. So that within itself, I think, explains how important it is for these families to come out here um, and receive this the fresh produce, all the different types of stuff that they get that they might not be able to find anywhere else. Volunteers, both Muslim and non-Muslim, work side by side to distribute basic foods like oil and rice as well as the fresh produce. The foods are donated by local businesses, food banks, and grocery stores. Rizman Jaka and his family have been volunteering here for several years. We're here to uh, participate in this wonderful program to help those in need, to help our neighbors and friends, uh, to make sure that we're providing and sharing of our wealth and sharing of our food. Mikhail Jaka is his son. It makes me feel good because I'm helping them, and they're people just like me. Sylvia Morgan received food here. She says she heard about the event from a friend. He called me up and told me about it, and he knew that I needed help, and I'm here. And I really appreciate it. It helps a lot. Allah. Imam Johari, director of outreach at the Dar al-Hijra Islamic Center just outside Washington, says that's one of the principles of Ramadan. The Prophet said you are not a Muslim. If you go to bed with your stomach full, and your neighbor is hungry. We try to live that, especially in the month of Ramadan. Julie Tabo, VOA News, Falls Church, Virginia. And that's Africa 54. Thanks for watching. Good night.